it's Christmas in February. Got a little bit of unboxing to do for the Viper. Corsa exhaust, we're gonna open that baby up. Second half of the Corsa exhaust and some headers we're gonna get to. All right, unboxing box number one of two of the Corsa exhaust. First thing you notice, uh, got my little Corsa decal here. First thing you notice is uh, it's packaged pretty well, it's tight. A lot of padding, that's good. And here we have two elbows. I'm guessing these uh, sort of towards the front, maybe towards the rear, I'm not sure yet. But got our clamps. Nice stainless steel. Little oxygen sensor hole right there. So that's number one. I'm never gonna get this boxed up as good as they did. All right, number two. All right, so this is definitely where the O2s go. So that's those, and there's more stuff in here. So, so go padding one, two. All right, these are the side pipes that we got here. This looks about it for the box, so I'm not gonna pull the other one out, but this one, nice and heavy, pretty steady. Really nice welds. So I had these ordered. These are three inches all the way through. The entire exhaust is going to be three inches all the way through. Corsa exhaust box number two. Again, packaged up real nice, real tight. Let's see what we got here. Yep, this is the muffler for the back, just like I expected. And it's pretty. Wow. So obviously this is uh, sitting all the way in the back of the car. Got an H pipe here. Again, the welds look pretty good. Crossbar, all three inches, all the way through. Dual exhaust, there's some film on these, definitely to keep them pretty. That's nice. That's what it looks like. It's all welded together. A little bit of an adjustment here to make sure I guess you get it centered up. Again, all looks pretty good. Stainless. This thing should sound uh, pretty sick. Moving on to the headers. Box came a little bit flimsy. I'm sure it'll be alright. Let's see what we're... Uh, what we're dealing with here so these are headers from Bellinger I think the Corsa and the Bellinger header should make for a pretty sick sound so let's see what we got in the box okay all right bag of bolts Gaskets. Let me get that there. So, hardware kit. Do not throw away. What do you guys think? Should I throw them away? All right. I'm not sure what that is yet. We'll get to it. Now we got some pretty stuff coming. All right, this says driver side. I don't know if you guys could see that. We'll get to that. All right, pass side. It's hard to see, but it's under there. All right, that's good, that's helpful. All right, these look like clamps. Oh man. I could see it already. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Corner piece. Bend. All right. And here are the main headers. Be right back. I'm going to get them out of the wrap so we can see what they look like. Okay, so we got one side out from under the shrink wrap. And man, right off the bat, this thing looks really nice. Really good quality. Solid. The welds. 
I mean, they look of money. I love the way they do a collector's here before the big collector. Look at that. Nice proprietary Bellinger technology, I'm sure. Beautifully welded. Solid. Here's your little uh, proof of purchase. So I happened to get this kit with the high flow cats. Here's one of them, directional arrow, looking good. So I got the cats because basically I just don't want the car to smell like gas every time I start it up. Keep it a little tame, maybe uh, keep the sound down a little bit. I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for that, but whatever. Uh, you know, it's just a cruiser. I don't need every, you know, piece of, you know, every little bit of horsepower I could possibly get. I wanted to have some nice, you know, drivability, cruise around. So I think, uh, I think the cats will help out with that. If I don't like them, I'll be the first one to get rid of them and tune the car around, all that stuff. So, like I said, clamps, just a straight piece of piping here, but it is labeled for which side it is, which is nice. Uh, again, all three inch stainless all the way around. There's also a letter in the box. Let's, uh, let's see what it says. All right, looks like we got a sticker here. More horsepower, thankfully. And uh, installation instructions. I'm sure that's helpful. Although I'm sure I'll pull up some videos of other people doing it too. See what's going on. I heard they could be a bitch to install. But uh, basically more of that in here. So what am I planning on doing with this? I think I'm going to do a baseline tune of the car completely stock. And then install all this and re-dyno the car uh, with a tune and uh, see what the differences are. So definitely stay tuned for that. I hope you guys liked the video. Now I gotta put all this shit back in. That's gonna be fun. So uh, stay posted uh, and uh, thanks for watching.